So, you know, you can't blame the woman for being in a bad mood. You know, sometimes she's having a period, the chemicals are moving through her there. Sometimes those chemicals mix with the chemicals in the wine, and it's like a witch's brew. <laughs> a little menstruation, a bottle of Cabernet. <laughs> now you'll be wrong no matter what you say. <laughs> we went out to a restaurant on her birthday, and we were having a really good time. But she was drinking red wine and having PMS, so I'm on full security alert. <laughs> I know a fight's coming. I don't know where, I don't know how. I just know it'll be long, it'll be bad, and I won't know how it started. <laughs> sure enough, this waitress comes walking toward our table with the biggest bouncy waitress knockers, proving once again that tits are like the police. They're always walking in when you don't want them to. <laughs> if you're looking for them, no chance. When you don't want them, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> This is when your brain sends an emergency message down to your eyeballs, like, attention eyeballs, this is the brain. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We have two giant presumes closing from the south. Do not engage. Repeat, do not engage. She's drinking red wine and there's PMS. We are at DEFCON 3. I say again, two bouncing honkers are closing. Chest size, three, niner. Cup size, David, David, David. Do not engage those tits. But it's too late, because your eyeballs are calling back like this. Uh, yeah, you're breaking up a little bit there, brain. <laughs> Looks like we've got a couple of bazooms closing in from the south here. We're going to bank left and swoop in and get a closer look at this situation. <laughs> so I guess I, I glanced at him. And don't ask me how women notice this kind of shit, because it was really subtle. You know, it was one of these things like, hello, waitress, how are you? Can I have a Coke? Thank you. The yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Across the table, here's the view. Do you like the waitress's body? <laughs> do you think she's attractive? Because if you do, maybe you should be with her instead of me. Do you like the waitress's tits, Richard? Go home then. This is when you hear the alarm from the end of every science fiction movie you've ever seen when a planet's blowing up and you're, and, 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 three minutes to total destruction. <laughs> there are 28 million possible answers to do you like the waitress's tits. All of them are incorrect. <laughs> so you're sitting there going, uh, to her, to her boobs, did I like? No? <laughs> Why do you have to lie every second of your life? <laughs> I'd have more respect for if you acted like a man once in a while. Attention all units, this is the brain. Do not act like a man. Repeat. <laughs> do not act like a man. I've seen this before. You're being lured into an ambush. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get everybody the fuck out of there, and I mean now. Yeah, but it's too late now. It's too late. Because somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Too late now. Somebody else broke on the line. They're going, yeah, fuck this. We've had enough. We're going in. Who the hell's this? This is the testicles. Out. <laughs> and that's where you ruin everything. That's where you start going, OK, you want the truth, honey? Come on, lean into the table, because I don't want to upset. You want the truth is you should never drink when you're having your period, because something happens in your brain that makes you want to start stupid arguments when we should be having a good time. And if you want the whole truth, you cannot be mad at me, because that waitress has some big tits, because that is not my fault. <laughs> I didn't order them. They came with the meal. Begin final destruction countdown. Final destruction. Ten, nine, eight. This is the testicle. She's going to blow. We're pulling back. The balls are going back in. Send in all the begging units. Wait, wait, honey. I don't know what happened. I don't know. What you, you know. I'm fucking crazy. I'm wrong. Because you know why? Because I'm always wrong. Because I'm shit. That's what I am. I am shit. I'm worse than shit. If there was a piece of corn in a piece of shit, whatever the worst part of that piece of corn is, is better than me compared to you. Forgive me. Destruction sequence temporarily paused.
The story you've just seen is based on actual events. <laughs> That's a sad part of that one. Well, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah.